a wide play shot towards the net and that's the focus obviously when you come in on the offensive side you want to get pucks to the net and Mason McDonald plays it perfectly but it's his puck placement on the rebound now you do need a little bit of help from your defenseman oh, here right Travis Sanheim does have an opportunity to, to whack that out of the way what happens it slides by him and spot check grabs it and slides it between the legs of Mason McDonald at even strength so Canada now 0 for 1 with a man advantage trailing one nothing here comes Sanheim on his horse all the way down the ice goes around the net and it's taken off his stick by Zabor but he gets some support from Barzell cross ice pass back door at Sanheim in front he he found out dead and he swept it just wide. Bishop's in, drops it off, connecting in, shoots. Great stop by Vanacek. Vitek Vanacek giving you a look at the goaltending that he has been providing for this Czech team that bends but doesn't break that much. Well, we may have a really good goaltender here in Vanacek. And, you know, holding his ground, battling around the net. Got a real good opportunity here with 13 seconds left to get a face off but Mason McDonald had to come up big here's Vertanen now as the power play is over Vertanen tries to center it puck is loose back out in front and Vanacek has to be very careful as Brendan Perlini is right there got a shot away but once again Vanacek has the answer yes he does have the answer and Perlini going to the net, using his skating, using his size. Robin game against Russia. Here's Spachik with a drive, hits the post. Spachik, who has the game's only goal, inches away from his second. And the Czech still with it. Spachik fans on that one. His bodies were all around him in front of the Canadian net. Good pressure here from the Czech Republic, looking for a 2-0 lead. Puck finally comes free, and it's Brana with it. Brana, very dangerous. Here he is, shoots, and he just missed on the top corner. And here in the second period, the lone goal scorer is Michael Spachik for the Czech Republic. He's got the puck. Scored just over a minute into the game. Drops it off for Brana. Scores! Jakob Brana with a long-range shot. Jakob Brana, those are the types of plays that he can make. Because he's not just throwing the puck to the net. He sees a spot. Zaborov makes a really good play. Spasik slows up at the blue line. And then just a little, little back pass here to Verana. And verana has got his head up the whole time. He's looking for that spot. Canada digs it free. Howerlick on the drive. And a good stop there by Vanacek. Bacic turns it back. Into the middle for Zaha. Takes that pass. Toe drag. Pasternak with a drive. And a great stop. Team that is much better than they showed in their semifinal. They will play for bronze tomorrow. Here's a two-on-one to Ludovic. Vasily try to pass in front. Loose puck scores. Smith's call on the second attempt gets it to go. Quickly on the transition. Vasily doesn't make good on the first attempt, but he stays with the puck and going right to the net. And this is what you got to do. You got to come hard back to the net. Vaselli looking, looking. A deflection by Thomas, and then Pilon doesn't get back. And it's a tap in. And, you know, at 2 0, the Czechs, to me, were looking for the kill shot. And this might be it. Here comes Barzell, drops it off on dead. Quinto with a drive, scores! The puck finds its way through the legs of Vanacek, a power play goal, a crucial goal for Canada to get them on the board. Well, the Czechs got caught with only three players out on the ice. It was a bad change. There was only three guys on the ice. Quenville came up, and he gave himself enough room to get the pass as Barzell was coming through the neutral zone. And then Barzell goes back to the net and redirects it. It certainly appeared that he redirected it, but just a terrific play. Definitely a redirect by Barzell, but the Czechs make a terrible change. And he's got help. Howlock in front. Drop backhander. Stopped by Vanacek. What a chance. And what a save by Vitek Vanacek. Quick nail to center ice. Hickets tries to break it up, and here they come. Karabacic on the drive. Rebound, and it's cleared. You know, interestingly enough here, two of the young players here on this team, Travis Konechny and Matt Barzell, have been real catalysts at the side of the net. Here's Quenville now. Good look, and Vanacek makes the stop. Playing hard, creating turnovers. That's exactly what you just saw from this line of Rob Quenville and Howerlock. 
And then watch Hayden Fleury here. He just gets enough on the stick where Karabacek doesn't get the shot off. That's just great effort by Hayden Fleury. To... Seeing some battle from their team right now, and here they come again. Konechny moves in, loose puck for 10 and shoots. And that was kicked out by Vanacek. Oh. Tells us he's okay. Here comes Pasternak racing in. Pasternak in there. Couldn't get a shot away. Now he drops it back for Bleakley. His shot blocked. Here's Hickens again. His drive scores. Joe Hickens gets Canada within one. Well, he moves from the right to his left into the middle of the ice and just makes a quick shot towards the net. And there's enough of a screen where Vanacek can't pick it up. And that's what Kevin Deneen has been asking his team to do again and again and again is get the puck towards the net. It's exactly what Joe Hicketts does. And if this doesn't reinforce Kevin Deneen's message, nothing will. Now his momentum is wearing red. Here's Bleakley to Sanheim. Sanheim at the top of the circle. Bertanen shoots, and that's blocked right in front with a shot going up and out of play. Net, he said they needed to play more intensely. They're doing that here in the third period. Barzell, backhander, Vanacek with a save. Puck is loose, and it's in. They've tied the game. It stayed loose, and it's tucked home in front, and Canada has tied it. Daniel Audette gets the goal. Just a play. McCann le leans it in there. Barzell's looking, and you just push it to the net. And Vanacek can't get it cleanly. Odette finds it and kind of slips it in short side by Vanacek. But it all starts by Matt Barzell just pushing the puck towards the net. If that puck doesn't come to the net, nothing happens here. Daniel Odette, son of an NHLer. Here's Ryan Grop, sharp angled shot, handled there by Vanacek, who makes sure because they couldn't get around him, but they get it to Fleury. His drive blocked in front by Cachet. Now Barzell on the loose puck into the middle. Connect, he shoots, hits both posts, and out. Light went on, but the referee was right there. Puck comes, you see it, post to post. And the battle ensues. They dig it free. There's a pass, and Pasternak teed that one up. This is the best shift the Jets have had in a while, certainly in this period. Here's Karabacek, a backhander, stopped by Mason McDonald, is being tested here. And Konechny skates it away. He's given a shove and help there by Pasternak. He's in. Konechny tried to center it, and it's broken up in the last minute by Rasner. On a dangerous-looking rush there for Travis Konechny. Here they come again. Jakob Vrana, very dangerous. Toe drag, snapshot, hard one. Loose puck rebound, and Mason McDonald got that too. Seven goals in five games in his third under-18. He is the highest-scoring check ever. Try to spin it back in towards the net. Lots of bodies there. Loose puck. Zaha got a shot away. And McDonald makes a big stop. Shot. Look out. Here comes Brana trying to race away. And the puck got into his skates. He goes wide side. Cutting in. There's the shot by Spachik. And the save made by Mason McDonald. Mason McDonald makes it look easy by getting into superb position. He's been... And here's Pasternak. He's in. Toe drag. And it's taken away. Gets the second attempt. And what a shot. And another stop by McDonald. Point blank from right to the slot. Well, this is a goaltending clinic by Mason McDonald. Mentally attuned to what's happening. He comes right out to the top of the crease. And he shuts it completely right down. Overtime. Here comes Jake for 10 and over the line. He's in there for 10 and stopped by the netminder Vanacek. What a rush. Vanacek has made some big stops, none bigger than that. Stepping out of the box, and they've dodged the bullet. Back to four on four. Here comes Hicketts. Hicketts stepping in. He shoots, and he just missed the near post, where it's turned over to Jacob Vrana. Jacob Vrana now with some speed. Here he's in, shoots, and he just missed up high. He is so quick, and that release is so hard, and he just missed there. Well, he's so hard to get to his hands because he knows how to keep the puck free, and that's the sign of a superb goal scorer. Got to get away there from Karabacic, and he finally does. Here's Barzell. Barzell's turned it over. Here's a chance. Right in. McDonald down, and they score. The Jets have won it in overtime. David Cache with the goal, and the Jets will play for goal. An absolute heartbreaker for Team Canada and Joe Hicketts. And the Czechs celebrate a thrilling overtime win over Team Canada.
mistakes that are made because you're not thinking, and then there's mistakes that are made because you try to do too much, and that's certainly the case here with Matt Barzell. And Kache makes a nice play, stripping them, both 1997-born players, and Kache finds a way to get in there. He just closes that ice on Matt Barzell so quickly, and...